Well, STS-1 was a pure test mission, and all we really wanted to do was to prove that the system would work. So our job was to take off, get it to orbit, check out all the systems on the vehicle, and bring it in safely for a landing. It allowed us to fly a diverse group of people into space to become astronauts. Uh, we didn't need just test pilots anymore. So it opened up the, uh, the field of the astronauts uh, in a much broader range than we'd ever had before. And it was only when the count got inside of about a minute that I turned to John and I said, I think we might really do it. And uh, I think it was at that point, my heart rate went up to about 130. It was <laughs> probably one of the most exciting uh, moments of my life. It was a fantastic flying machine, but it was also a fragile one. Uh, it took lots of TLC and the people at Kennedy Space Center were very good at that. When Atlantis landed after the last flight, that vehicle was as good a condition as it could have possibly been and uh, was certainly capable of flying some more, but the, the politics and the accidents um, spelled the end of that. And um, yeah. it'll be a long time before we have a vehicle that's nearly uh, as uh, magnificent as the space shuttle was. We do need to get out of Earth orbit. Uh, we need to go back to the moon. That's the right thing to do. Uh, we need to learn to live and work off this planet. There's still some great things we can do on the moon. Uh, a lot of people say we've been there, we've done that, but uh, really those were like six camping trips. They didn't last very long and we need to go back and learn to, to live on the moon and then eventually uh, fly on to Mars. That'll happen someday. I don't think I'll be around to see it though. 